All right, boys, here they come. Now, once they get near us, just reach out quick and grab Pikachu. I can't wait to get my claws on that electrified pipsqueak. And I'll have this super safe. Pikachu's attacks will be useless inside it. Keep it down. Here they come. Gotcha. Wah-ha! Nice work for once. Shh. What, what was, was that? that? Wait, where's Pikachu? Pikachu? Okay, now that we've bagged Pikachu, let's vault. But you forgot one thing. What are we going to do when the twigs try and follow us? Why, set a trap, silly. Like we always do. Hey, twerps! We're setting traps, so don't even bother trying to find us. Your precious Pikachu is ours. Team Rocket's got Pikachu. We have to save Pikachu, Ash. Let's get after them. Swallow, I choose you! Swallow, follow Team Rocket's tracks. Swallow! Swallow! Ash, what's wrong? I don't see their footprints anymore. Swallow! Oh, no! Which way do we go? There are four different ways to get to them. Mmm, I guess we'll just have to pick one. But remember what they said as they left? They're setting traps! Maybe there's a way to figure out which way is safest to take. One without a trap. Hmm, let's call Ada at the Learning League. Maybe she can tell us how she makes choices like this, and then we can figure out which way is safest. Great idea. Let's hurry! <laughs> Hi, Ada. Hey, Ash. Hi, May. Uh-oh, what's up? Looks like you've got a problem. Yeah, Team Rocket's got Pikachu. We lost their trail and know that they're setting traps. There are four different paths we can take to get to them. Is there any way to figure out which way is safest? Gotcha. Well, do you happen to know where they've set traps in the past? Mmm, I know. They often set traps in a forest or field. Well, that can be really helpful information. If you want to figure out the likelihood of something, it's a question of probability. That's the chance that a specific event will happen. An event? Like falling into one of Team Rocket's traps. So with your example, to avoid Team Rocket's traps, you want to figure out where you're most likely to find them, right? But Team Rocket sets traps in lots of different places. Okay then, to make a prediction, you would look at the past outcomes. In your case, the kinds of locations where Team Rocket dug traps the last time to see which are most likely. Let me tell you about a time I used probability to help me out. My friend Ciara left me a message that her lab book dropped out of her messenger bag on her way into the lab. So she asked me to get it, but I don't know which way she went into the lab. I couldn't reach her to ask, and I was in a hurry, so I had to figure out which way she probably went. This graph shows the different entryways Ciara has taken into the lab. I get it. One for each way she could take. Right. One through the cafeteria, one through the garden, one up the elevator, one up the stairs. Each option, for example the stairs, is one out of four. Given this example, that means that in the past there was one chance out of four that Ciara would have taken the stairs. We can show this probability as a fraction. One chance out of four. Hey, since she went each of those ways in the past, does that mean she would be equally likely to pick each one the day you needed to help her? You got it. Wait a minute. If they all have the same probability, how did you figure out where you would find her lab book? Good thinking. I couldn't. But what if I said I had a graph of the last five ways Ciara entered the lab, and two were in the garden? The probability of Ciara through the garden would be 2 out of 5. Yeah, and the chance of her picking any other way into the lab would be only 1 out of 5. So, based on these probabilities, I could predict which option would be most likely. Cool, so through the garden was where she most likely dropped it, right? You're getting it. How about some more to try? Good idea. We need to make sure the plan works so that we don't get trapped. Each of these circle graphs shows the entryways into the lab that Ciara, Lex, Quinn, and I have taken in the past. Drag each probability fraction to the circle it matches. Be sure the number of outcomes in the goal location matches the numerator.
That's it. Way to go. Great going. A perfect score. Now, comparing all of the graphs, which of the entrances would be most likely taken in the future? Good job! The garden entrance was taken the most, so you would have the greatest probability in the future. Now, comparing all of the graphs, which of the entrances was taken the least? That's right! The cafeteria entrance is represented the fewest amount of times. I think you've got it! Yeah, right! We need to chase after Team Rocket! Thanks, Ada! We're on our way! Now comes the true test! We've got to figure out the best way to get to Pikachu. Remember, they often set traps in the forest or field. Let's go. Here we go. We can take four different paths at this point. They'll all get us to the same spot, but Team Rocket set traps. In the past, they set the most traps in the forest and field. Can you help us out? Change the circle to show that the probability of traps is greatest in the forest and field and least in the cave or mountain. Make sure you have each of the four choices shown at least once. To check your answer, click Check. You got it! Now, click on a path that has a lower probability of having a trap. What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go through the cave. What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go over the mountain. All right, we made it through without finding any traps, but where are they? Look, now we can take one of two paths. So there should be more traps in the field than on the mountain. Change this circle so the probability of traps is greater in the field than on the mountain. Make sure you have each of the two choices shown at least once. You got it! Now, click on the path that has the least probability of having a trap. What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go over the mountain. Nice work, we made it through that one. But we've got further to go. Now we can take one of four paths. Okay. The most traps would be in the forest and field. Change this circle to show the probability of finding traps is least in the cave and mountain and the greatest in the field and forest. Make sure you have each of the four choices shown at least once. You got it! Now, click on a path that has a lower probability of having a trap. What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go over the mountain. What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go through the cave. This must be the last one to get to them. We can take one of three paths. So the most traps would be in the forest. Change this circle to show the probability of finding traps is greatest in the forest and least on the mountain. Make sure you have each of the three choices shown at least once. You got it! Now, click on the path that has the least probability of having a trap. 
What probability fraction matches your choice? All right, let's go over the mountain. Awesome! We figured out the places that are least likely to be dangerous. And you got a perfect score. Awesome! And now we're almost there. Woohoo! We did it! I'm so glad you're safe. Pikachu, Pikachu! Now, what do you think is the likelihood that this is the last of Team Rocket's tricks? <laughs> yeah, we can be pretty sure that we'll have to step in again, right? Well, it's a good thing we now know how to keep probability on our side. And you. We couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks a lot. Try again. Good try. Here's the match. Hmm, if I were you, I might try those fractions again. I agree with Ada. Let's take one more look. Not bad. You got three out of four. Try again. Which entrance is represented the most? Try again. Try again. Which entrance is represented the least amount of times? Try again. Good try. Here's the match. Now, click on a path that has a lower probability of having a trap. Try again. Look, here's the safest place. Try again. All right, let's go over the mountain. Awesome! We figured out the places that are least likely to be dangerous. And now we're almost there. Woohoo! We did it! I'm so glad you're safe.